Welcome to Pomelo's in the Kitchen. This is not Pomelo's in the Kitchen. It's not Pomelo's in the Kitchen. No, unfortunately. Welcome back to another episode of The Journey of Coffee. My Welcome. name is Chris Faulkner. I'm Jamie Clausen. And uh, here today we're going to talk to you about the AeroPress. Mm -hmm. This fancy dancy little easy syringe-like plunger thing. Yep. That's going to change your coffee game. Change mine. Did it change yours? Yeah, this was like my first kind of non-French press brewer that I purchased. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's the interesting thing about this being a very simple and relatively inexpensive. It's going to cost you about 40 bucks for that. Yeah. And you can get into good coffee. Very good coffee. So if you have the typical percolator you've had around forever, uh, or you just have coffee at work, this is a very inexpensive way to get into um, tasting coffee, picking up notes, and really just brewing coffee in general. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. And fun fact, it was invented by the guy, I think it's a Roby, so it's a Frisbee. The Frisbee guy? It's not, no, it's not the Frisbee, it's the one that's like, you know, the circle of plastic. Apparently flies better than a frisbee. Oh, with like the hole in the center. Yeah. So he invented that, and then one of the best coffee brewers. Yeah. And so the cool part, I mean, I suppose for 40 bucks, you get, you know, the uh, the plunger, mm -hmm. the container. Uh, you get a little filter stand, plus more filters than this. Yeah. About 700, I think you get. Yeah. Stirring device. Filter holder. Filter holder. And a funnel. Yeah. A multi-purpose funnel. Yeah. A lot of really cool advantages to the AeroPress in general. It's very fast. Very fast. So the brew time is, yeah. is very short compared to having to uh, run your percolator or even yeah. like a French press per se. Like a minute fast. Like a minute yeah. fast. Um, really easy way to make coffee when you travel, coffee for yourself. Camping, I take mine camping. Take it camping, yeah. Um, it's lightweight. It's very lightweight. Yeah. And even like storage, so once you put it all together, Oh, this one. Like it really, it takes up that much room. Yeah. So you don't have to have some weird machine on your counter. Yeah. The whole thing, I mean, even if you just take that off, that's 225 grams. Yeah. So barely anything, yeah. half a pound. So it can easily fit your bag. The TSA is not gonna fight you or the yeah. Canadian border, it's plastic. Um, you don't have, if you wanted to travel with a French press or something, you have glass or ceramics, They're they're, probably pretty dangerous to travel yeah. with. You'd have to pack them. Yeah, and I have a feeling that this will probably outlive you. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna last forever. I think this is gonna last forever, so. But uh, let's try to make some coffee with it. Yeah. So for uh, for the AeroPress, we're gonna do a couple of ways to do the AeroPress. Mm -hmm. There's a traditional way that will come in your AeroPress package. Yeah. Um, and the my personal favorite, the inverted method. Yeah, the inverted method. So lots of cool ways. You probably saw us use this in the roasty video if you haven't. Um, if not, I'm not sure if we can link this stuff yet. I'm not sure if we're... Just go to our channel and find it. Just go to our channel can't. and subscribe while you're at it. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to use some, some pallet coffee. Uh, this is a, the coffee that I picked up last time I was in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. um, they were established in 2014, so relatively newish in the coffee realm. Uh, really cool roaster doing, um, I think, small batch in some way in Vancouver. Uh, all about bringing, you know, coffee to the community, showing some coffee love, building long lasting relationships. And I went to uh, one of their stores, beautiful, very like, you know, hip modern coffee shop. So um, super impressed, brought back a couple of beans. This one is a, a Colombian and uh, this one's an Ethiopian. So this one's a raspberry lemonade and apricot, apricot, we're gonna try to get. This one's tropical fruit, smooth cocoa, and lingering finish. Yeah. Which one do you wanna try first? I think I want a lingering finish. Let's do it. Handy dandy scale, this is why you need a scale, especially uh, if you haven't seen, check out our scale episode. And how much coffee are we gonna use? 14 grams. Don't worry if it's like 13.9 or... But worry if it's 18. Yeah, if it's 18, <laughs> pull it out. Oh man, this is terrible. There we go. And you're gonna wanna use a, a fairly fine grind for this. Um, you'll notice if it's really, really coarse, you can just put the plunger down right away and it's really easy, so. You, uh, 
You get these paper filters with the AeroPress, which go in this little fancy dancy thing right here. It is really, really intuitive, I think. There's, there's little tabs, slides in at the end of the day. Make sure it's slid in. Yeah. Because once you start plunging, if it's not, you will have a mess. And the deal is, you're definitely going to want to wet that filter so that you have some, um, so that you get rid of that, that coffee flavor. So you can just put it inside of a vessel of any kind, pour some hot water over it. From here, you're going to want to put your coffee into the uh, AeroPress. Either by the funnel or if you're using the funnel the way we are. You give it a shake, just distribute your grounds, just make sure it's kind of nice and flat in there so you have a good delivery system. And because we've used 14 grams, we are going to use 200 grams of water. And once you have your 200 grams, you take your, your little stir stick. Start the timer. Start the timer. Stir for 10 seconds. And now basically, if you've done it right, it'll take you probably 20, 30, 40 seconds maybe to plunge. If it's too fine, it's gonna take you a long time. And if it's too coarse, you'll just be able to push it right through. Riveting television right here. There's a real satisfying plunger sound on the yeah. AeroPress every single time. So then one of my favorite features of the AeroPress is how easy it is to clean. So now you can just take this off. Oh yeah, maybe put it in a bowl. So because all of the water is out of it, and then you just, and it's clean. It's basically clean, yeah. You yeah. can rinse that off, give it a bit of a wipe, and yeah. just like that, there's no messy brew pot to clean. It was like a minute and five seconds. A minute and five Pretty seconds. Fun. That has a nice color to it. Yeah. Still quite warm. Yeah. We should make another round while we're doing that. All right. Next method. Round two. Yeah. For that, we're gonna use the Ethiopian. Again, props to Palette Coffee for the rip tabs. Yeah. Beautiful and execution. Beautiful execution. And the bags, you resealable bag, yeah. doesn't have the fold over. It's also quite beautiful. It is very beautiful. I think Palette Coffee, whoever yeah. did your uh, branding. Very good. Very good. So how much coffee do we need for this in championship method? We need 35 grams. Dandy funnel is like really great for a lot of reasons. Flatten out your coffee. So you'll notice a fair amount more coffee in there compared to what we had before. We're gonna add 150 grams of water. And then we're gonna stir this. You want to agitate the coffee, obviously, to get it all hydrated, saturated. <laughs> all wet. Just going to take some of this air out. Let it sit for another minute. So at a minute and five, now you flip it back over, put it into your drinking vessel, and again, all things considered, you now plunge. Compared to the classic method, you're actually going to take this, zero out your scale again, 
and then add more water. So anywhere from say 150 to 200 grams of water depending on how strong you like your coffee. So we'll just add 150 grams. Whoo! 152 grams actually. <laughs> and there you're left with a beautiful, yeah. beautiful coffee. So this is raspberry, lemonade, and apricot. I'm not sure I get any of those. On the nose? On the nose, at least. Oh, mmm. 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 I don't want to say what I think before you taste it. Oh. Oh, interesting. I, I do get the Beyonce, and by Beyonce, I mean lemonade. Lemonade. See, I get the raspberries. Oh. I've never tasted raspberries in coffee before. Let's bring in the, uh, the Colombian, because now that it's a, bit, it's a bit more relaxed, or a bit more uh, chill, I suppose. Mm -hmm. It's chilled out a bit. The thing about the coffee notes is I think we've totally found is that when you're drinking them right away, if it's too hot, you, you lose all of it. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely get different ones as it cools. So this again was supposed to be tropical fruits, coca, cocao, coca. Cocoa? <laughs> it's funny because I think tropical fruits is almost a good descriptor because there's something there. I just, it's really, really hard to put in. It has some kind of fragrance to it. Mm-hmm. But like, it's not like, oh, that's papaya or that's melon. Right. And it does have that lingering yeah. finish after. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good lingering. The um, altitude is between 1600 and 2000 meters for the Colombian. It's a washed bean and it comes from Tolima. It is a very easy drinking bean, yeah. right? Yeah. Like it's a... Um, this Ethiopian uh, is a washed bean as well from, from 1790 to 1900 meters. So around the same altitude, a little bit higher, um, but then maybe, you know, this goes a little bit more. Uh, I don't know what, how you say that region. You're get Yeah, I would say that's fine. Yeah. Oh, see, now I get raspberry. It's good. Yeah. It's really interesting how I feel it can change. You can really, if you really think yeah. about it, your first sip, let it come back. But going to this, which is a little bit harder to distinguish. Yeah, that's all raspberries. That's all raspberry. And then I get a Beyonce finish now. I don't get the apricot, but I don't, I don't really, I feel like I'm not, I need more time with apricots. Wow. Yeah. That's so good. Raspberries. So uh, yeah, that's kind of the gist of the AeroPress. Yeah, and there's a couple more things. Um, you know, it comes with the paper filters, which I think it's about eight dollars for seven hundred or so. So they're yeah, it's cheap. reasonably cheap. Um, I personally am trying to compost mine. I'm gonna see if it works. Um, but if you want something more reusable for traveling, you can also get uh, metal filters. Um, apparently, Arobi says that they are not good to oh. use because they kind of take away from the... From the sales? Yeah, I guess so. Um, you can also get things like the Fellow Prismo attachment, which is more of an espresso. It has a uh, metal filter in this as well. Yeah. There was a lot of talk about the AeroPress when it first came out, especially yeah. because you're using pressure through this vessel, so you have a, a espresso experience. Yeah. And so obviously it's not mm -hmm. a true espresso experience. It doesn't have all the pressure that it does in a machine that can yeah. really push through that coffee. Yeah. But things like the yeah. Prismo disc have this fine little yeah. hole um, and with the pressure kind of are emulate the yeah. espresso. Yeah, and you can, um, I know we talked about how it's kind of more of a single cup kind of brewing method, but I know when I've been with some friends, I'll often make kind of more of a concentrate, so higher concentrate of grounds to water and then split it between two cups and then add hot water yeah. after just for 
And we, I guess. Yeah, we've taken this uh, camping and running and everything else. Yeah. So uh, last year, a bunch of us did the Skyline Trail and we brought this and we pre-ground coffee. And obviously that's not yeah. sort of ideal yeah. if you want the freshest of coffee, but if you're going camping for a couple of days or, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, do you want the, do you need the freshest coffee when you're camping? Do you, you want can, instant coffee or do you want this? Yeah, you can grind <laughs> coffee, you can bring your AeroPress, you yeah. can have a rough idea of where you got. There's numbers on the side. Yeah. And I think you have a, a great coffee. Yeah. I love my AeroPress. Yeah. I think it's the best $40 I ever spent. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you're ever in Vancouver, I really suggest you check yeah. out Palette. They um, they didn't give us this coffee or anything. I bought this uh, I bought this when I was there, but I think it's a really cool place. Nice little nice little uh, spot. Love checking out those joints. So if you're in Vancouver, or if you have any other suggestions for Vancouver, leave it in the comments or um, anywhere else we're gonna go. Just let us know, and we'll we'll make sure we keep trying the coffee. Yes, we will. To uh, to the AeroPress. AeroPress.